Hello, today's video is on stock number 35874RL, the uh, programmable relay. Uh, this is how it, it comes. Uh, we do supply the little connector header pin. I'll show you where that goes in a moment. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice little panel mount. Mounts in a 71 millimeter by about 39 millimeter cutout. Uh, it operates off of 6 to 30 volts DC, about 15 milliamps. Current draw with nominal. Uh, with the relay active, it's about 50 milliamps. It actually has three ways to uh, trigger. You have a, a low, a high, and you have this button. Even though that looks like a on-off button for the unit, it's actually called a pause slash trigger button. I'll, I'll show you how that works in a moment. Uh, let's see, single pull, single throw, normally open contact. Uh, yeah, this is your power for your unit. Uh, the back cover snaps off. Uh, this is where the header pin comes in. You have uh, a high, a ground, and a low marked on the PC board. Um, only issue I would say right off the bat is I don't think I would have made the Logic Low a, a red wire. They probably should have done it with a yellow, but keep that in mind. If you use a Logic Low, it's, it's actually the red wire, but make sure you watch the uh, the actual marking on the part itself. Uh, so let's see. Actually, that's how it comes to you. Let me show you one here I have hooked up already and working. Uh, let's see. You can see the backlighting, the display. Uh, I guess first thing I would like to point out to you while this, you have an option of a sleep mode or just it just stays on. So if you press the, the trigger button, press and hold while it's in this mode, Okay, this means it would turn it off. That means it would just stay on as long as it has power. Press and hold again. It says on. That means you have a four to five minute window before the, the backlighting will go to, to sleep. Uh, the display still shows, it just it turns off the backlighting. I'll uh, not make you wait five minutes. I'll pause the video here. With the sleep mode turned on, after uh, four to five minutes, as you can see, the the, uh, the backlight turns off. But the LCD is still displaying. Hopefully, hopefully it is showing on the uh, video. The only other thing I need to bring up on this is, even though you trigger it, uh, this trigger will not reactivate the the backlighting. You have to touch one of the four blue buttons on the, then it comes back and it's and it's uh, backlight turns on. Uh, if, like I said, if it's in the off mode, it just stays on permanently as long as it has power. Okay, now let's get into the programming of the unit. Alright, now let's get into the timing. There are four different time ranges. Let me show you how to program those. Uh, if you press and hold this little button here, this is the set. Press and hold for three seconds. And there's the first one, which is PO program zero. Uh, OP stands for how long you want your relay to stay on. You will also see a uh, CL, that will be your time for your relay to be off. And you will see an LOP, which means loop, how many times you want the program to loop. Each little program is different. There's subtleties in each one, and let's, let's see if we can't cover each one here in a moment. But uh, first I need to show you how to program the time. When this is flashing, this, that means you're into uh, ready to program it. When you see no decimal points, you're in the, uh, you have one second resolution and you can go up to 9,999 seconds. Uh, if you press the button once, you will see, a, hopefully you can see that little decimal point there. That is for, gives you 0.1 second resolution and you can go up to 999.9 .9 seconds for your programming. If you press the, the on off button again, yeah, you see the decimal point moves. That it gives you a 0 .01 resolution, and you have up to 99.99 .99 seconds in the programming. You press this again, and you see all of them lit up. You are now dealing in minutes. You have one minute resolution, and you can go up to 900. I'm sorry, 9,999 minutes. So uh, keep that in mind when you see those little decimal points. This is, like I say, this is just seconds. That's a good one for this video to keep it short. So then program zero, 01, uh, your relay on time is one second. That's a little short. Let's turn it up to about five seconds. Now you press the uh, gear button again, press and hold, one, two, three. And when it stops flashing, you're in the program mode. All right. Well, let's see. I forgot to cover 
actually what's going on here. Uh, I have this hooked up to power. I hooked up a little uh, little lamp so you can see the LED kick on, and it's just jumped across for the ground so we can see it working. Uh, let's see, you have, like as we covered quickly there earlier, I'm using the Logic Low to trigger, just a simple push button switch, normally open. Uh, this is the Logic High, which we're not going to use in this program, and you can also start by just simply pressing the on off, and it's counting down because we put it for five seconds. And that's using that, that button. Uh, if you were, we were to use a Logic Low and a push button, every time you do it, you can see it turn on. Now, if you had this program, as you can see, no matter what, no matter how many times it's triggered, no matter if I hold it, the relay stays on. It even counts down if you press and hold. Okay, that is program one. Change to program, I'm sorry, program zero. Let's change to uh, program one. You press and hold the gear. And you now are in, see that flashing? You press the up arrow once. We're now in program one. Counts down, and but this time, every time you re-trigger the pulse, it starts over. Pressing and holding doesn't help. It just resets once and counts down. As soon as it reaches the time, it ends. That's program one. Let's press and hold the gear. Now we're up to program two. Press and hold. Now this one, as you you can reset it every time, but when you re-trigger, it stops it and resets. Now if you lift the countdown, obviously the relay will turn off. Start, turn off, reset. That is program two. Press and hold. Now we're into program three. Now you see CL, that is uh, that is a relay off. So we need to set a time, oops, we need to be on program three, press the gear button once, short press, and this the relay close starts flashing, we'll have that for three seconds, okay, in this mode, program three, oops, I accidentally triggered it, the relay comes on with power. So you, your relay is activated, you trigger once, and it turns the relay off. Once you've reached the, uh, the time limit, it turns back on. And re-triggering does nothing. Pressing and holding does nothing. That is P3. Okay, and for P4, Press the set, press once, and we've entered uh, P4. There again, you have your relay on time, your close time, and your loops, three loops. Let's lower that down to two. And press and hold to activate. Uh, let's see, you can start it by that button, the trigger on the, the face, or you can use your push button. Apparently, every time you, you trigger, it resets. Press and hold. Like I said, every program has a slight variation on the other. Uh, one, one should work for you, I think. And that's the second cycle. And it's goes back to waiting for another trigger. Uh, let's try P5. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's, it's the, uh, it, it starts with the relay on. So P5, you have your relay on. Press that again. Your relay on time, your, your relay close time, and how many loops. And press and hold. And as you see, just in normal state, the relay is active. You press the, your trigger, and it starts its cycle. And the relay is just normally on. So if we press, 
every time you, you press the trigger it just simply resets. At any point in time it's operating and you want to pause it, you can pause it with this. That's, that's what's different about this button versus the trigger here is you can actually pause the program. This one, as you can see, it would simply reset it and started it over again. And that's P5. Uh, let's see, P6. Let's press and hold. And you see that the, that the P5 is flashing, P6. Uh, this you have your relay on time, uh, your relay closed, and how many times you want it to loop. Uh, press and hold to enter. All right. Oops, I started it. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's not designed to work from a trigger at all. It's designed to work from whenever power is applied. Uh, you can still pause it if you need to. Okay, it's gone through its two cycle, its two loops, so it's, it's back to no matter what I do here. Let's, okay, you can use it from this trigger. But mainly it's designed to work. Let me remove power here. I'm applying power. If you're in P6 mode, as you can see, it automatically started with the power up. And it'll go through the two loops because that it's programmed for two loops. So you can add up, you make it infinite loops if you want to. Okay, it's back to the beginning. Uh, uh, P7, press and hold, is actually the same thing except exact opposite. Really on time, really close time, two loops. Press and hold. Oops, press and hold. Pressed it too long. This one starts, it's the exact opposite. It starts with the relay on, relay off. Let me remove power. Apply power. Starts off with the relay closed. Oh, open, I'm sorry. Trigger has no effect. Okay, then it's in its that's its normal state with the relay on. So I remove power. Starts it. It's uh, here it goes open. So it ends with the relay turned on, and staying on as long as there's power. Now, let's go to program 8. Really on time. Now, this is uh, just a simple on time. This one is a little different on how it handles the trigger signal. Press and hold to enter operating mode. As long as I press and hold, you notice it does not start counting down. When I release, it starts counting down. Press and hold. It resets the time. Every time a quick trigger will reset it, I press and hold will simply it will not start counting down until you release. And then relay turns off after your time. And let's get into P9, the last one. Hooray! This has a closed press and hold. And it is just like uh, the other one. It's it as long as you press and hold the button. And that's the normal state. The relay will stay on until you either remove power or hit the, the button again. Once again, you can press and hold or you can just do a quick trigger. Alright, that is the uh, nine programming uh, sections. Uh, anything left to talk about? Uh, yes, if you go to our website and download the, uh, the data sheet, we do have different schematics on how you would hook up in different configurations. Uh, let's see. I think that covers uh, most of the unit. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching our video.